Welcome to Granny's Book Nook. Today's story is The Hat by Jan Brett. Winter was on the way. Lisa took her woolen clothes out of the chest and carried them outside. She was hanging them up in the fresh air when a strong wind blew one of her stockings off the line. Curious Hedgy found it and poked his nose in. When he pulled it out, the stocking was stuck on his prickles. How embarrassing, Hedgy thought. The mother hen came by with her chicks. Cackle, cackle, she clucked and laughed. What's that on your head, Hedgy? Why, it's my new hat, he told her. Isn't it beautiful? The mother hen cocked her head as if she had an idea, and off she ran. Hedgy saw the noisy gander looking down at him. Honk, honk. (laughs) Ha, 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 the gander laughed. Look at that. The hedgehog has flipped his gizzard. Laugh today, gander, but tomorrow when it rains, my hat will keep me dry. The gander thought for a moment, and off he ran. The barn cat was watching from a tree as Hedgy tugged at the stocking. Meow, he called down. What a silly looking hedgehog you are. With that thing on your head. But my ears will be warm in a snowstorm. Hmm, purred the cat. And off he ran. The farm dog and her puppies found Hedgy in a patch of brambles. Hedgy, is that a hat you're wearing? How funny you look, she barked, and her puppies yelped and giggled. But I'll be cozy and dry when it snows, Hedgy said. The farm dog's ears perked up, and off she ran. Oink, oink, the piglet squealed. What are you up to, Hedgy? The mama pig asked making sure my hat doesn't fall off if an icy wind blows up. I see, said the mama pig, and off she ran. Angie, what's that ridiculous thing on your head? The pony snorted at Hatchy. That was the last straw. It's my hat, of course. Don't you know that everyone should wear a hat in winter when it's cold and snowy? Hedgy shouted. The pony looked startled. Hedgy was usually so friendly. And off he ran. Hedgy just wanted to be alone. He was tired of everyone laughing at him. And with this thing on his head, he wouldn't even fit in his den. He didn't see Lisa running after him, the other stocking in her hand. Come back, you silly hedgehog. She called. Oh, no, Hedgy thought. Even the girl is laughing at me. Lisa caught up and pulled her stocking off Hedgy's head. You ridiculous little hedgehog, she laughed. Don't you know that animals don't wear clothes? Hedgy headed for his den, and Lisa started back toward the clothesline. That's when she saw all of her missing woolens. The animals had taken them, and each one was thinking, Now I am wearing a magnificent hat. Lisa was still chasing them when Hedgy reached his den. How ridiculous they look. Don't they know that animals should never wear clothes? Thank you for visiting Grammy's Book Nook. To get more information for this book, check the description box below. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Click the subscribe button for the latest videos on Grammy's Book Nook.